Hello, good evening. Night, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Nice. Vamos a esperar un par de minutos para que los demás se puedan unir. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good Hello, night. how are you? Fine, and you, teacher? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Are you ready for the class? Okay. It's a little late, a late. Yeah, it's a little late, right? But yeah, we're going to wait uh, just one or two more minutes and then we're going to. Yeah. In the chat, uh, somebody asked and they connect the class. Eh, sí, eso estaba viendo. La verdad es que cuando ya estoy en la clase casi no lo puedo ver, pero ahorita creería yo que ya, ya todo. Yo ya le reenvié el, el chat que nos enviaron cuando, y le mandé a decir que era el primer enlace, pero no, no sé si lo habrá visto. Yo esperaría que sí, no sé, pero sí vi que usted le, bueno, no sabía quién, pero vi que ahí le, le envió. Ajá, yo fui. Veremos entonces. Ok. Sure. Si se puede unir. Continue, continue waiting. <laughs> yeah, just one more minute and then we're going to start all over. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, you teacher. Very well. Ready here for the English class. Okay. Me too, ready. <laughs> nice. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start uh, the class today. Uh, first question, as always, as usual, uh, how is everything going in the platform? Everything is working fine? Yes, teacher, for the moment. Good. So um, remember that if you have questions, if you need help, you can chat with me. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay, uh, yesterday we were talking about verbs, right? Regular and irregular verbs. Today we're going to finish the list of uh, irregular verbs, and then we're going to continue with some other practices and checking some other things, okay? So let's see, I'm going to show you my screen. Okay, so we're going to start uh, about the um, meaning of some verbs. Uh, awake, what is awake, do you know? It, I think it's similar to rise. Yeah, it's similar to rise, to wake, wake you up. Maybe the main difference here is that awake is almost always used uh, in, uh, well, with the verb to be. That is a passive voice where we use together the verb to be. So we can say, for example, uh, he was, uh, or he awoke very late, something like that, okay? With the verb to be, was and where, we have practice, so we are not going to do that one. Beat, what is to beat? To overcome. Uh, to overcome, to hit something, right? To something like that. So uh, example with beat in pass, uh, Madeline, please. Okay, the burn. What is burn? Beat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, for example, the selection, the 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 last election, the Sunday, last Sunday, and um, beat the arena <laughs> FMLN. <laughs> okay, they will beat uh, you. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thank you. Become. What is to become?
when you study for something and then you get it. Very good. That is like become, it's like uh, transform to uh, get into a process and then you become something. Became, uh, that is going to be for Elvis. Okay, I became uh, a doctor. Very good, thank you. Begin, what is to begin? To start. To start, very good. Began is going to be for Ilda. Sorry, I'm problem with my audio. Okay. Uh, example the began. Began, please, yes. Um, maybe um, is a good place to be gum. Okay. Know, but I don't know. Yeah, you can say I began something or something like that, but that is good. The other one is bend. What is to bend? Bend, uh, as far as I remember, is when you have a page and then it's like uh, origami, I think. Okay. Yeah, very good example. So bend is when you have something and you you bend it, right? So you, I don't know, something like that. It was a very good example. A bend is going to be for Gerardo. I bend the page of my book. Okay, very good. Nice example. What is bet? you when you play with your friends and then you put a lot of money on on the table they say i'm going to bet this Very it good. could be money or, or or something more right yeah yeah that is like bet it's like when you challenge uh, and you uh, the winner is going to take something right it's going to win something so bet is going to be uh, for his seller I guess you're in mute. Excuse me. Oh, don't worry. I I bet that I wish that, excuse me, I bet that I win the scholarship. Okay. Nice, very good. The other one is bite. What is bite? It, it's when the people have to, ch to, to, when the animal uh, it could the, a person. Okay, like the dogs, right? When a dog uh, like bites dog. you. Yeah, or when you bite a cracker with your teeth, right? Something like that. Good, okay. good. Beat is going to be for mm -hmm. Arely. Okay. Uh, my dog uh, beat yesterday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my dog beat me yesterday. Okay. The next one is uh, blow. What is blow? For example, when you have a balloon or a glove, and then you put on your mouth and then you blow on it. Very good example. When you blow air into a balloon, right? That is the action. So blue is going to be for, uh, let me check, for uh, Joanna. I blew my the candles for my birthday cake. Very good example. Thank you very much. That is it. Break, break is very easy. You know what is break. So the past of that one is broke. That is for Stella. Sorry, can I 
Can you repeat, please? Yeah, please give me an example with Brooke. Brooke. Um, I just broke my glasses. Oh, I'm sorry to that. Okay. I it's know. A, it's <laughs> it's only a, an example. <laughs> of course, I know. So thank you. Uh, the next one is bring. What is to bring? Um, um, take, uh, take something to a place that is it right when you go and bring something to another place to move something very good brought is going to be for a flora i um, i brown <laughs> My lot. Okay, good example. Uh, the next one is broadcast. What is to broadcast? Transmit. Yeah, to transmit live a video, right? You are transmitting in TV, for example, they broadcast. Uh, so you can say, I broadcast live my experience. So anything like that. What is build? When you are making a uh, building, for example, or uh, yeah, you are making something like a, a, a building or a house, etc. Very good. That is a build. Uh, built is going to be for um, Arely. Okay. Um, the last month, my brother build uh, my house okay good example thank you the next one is buy what is well you know what is buy that is easy so bout is going to be for elders okay i bought a new cell phone yesterday good for you nice nice example it's so a, yes i have a talk talked about the bird bill if bill. we can use in the um, propuesta. Proposal. Proposal, um, maybe. Yes, can you I can say that? I build a proposal. Yeah, it's possible. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the next one is catch. What is to catch? To take. To take something, right? To I don't know. Couch, that is going to be for, uh, Gisela, help me with this one, please. Couch. Um, the last month I catch a cold. Okay, good, good example. Choose, what is to choose? Select between everything. Okay, to select something, right, to, to make mm -hmm. a choice. Okay, chose is going to be for Joanna. I chose my dress yesterday. Good, I chose my dress yesterday. Come is easy, you know what is come. Came is going to be for Lorena. Uh, I came. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, last mo mon morning, uh, uh, to my house. Very good, nice. Cost is about money, right? It's about creating or uh, check what is going to be the cost of something. So, cost is going to be for Florida. Okay, yeah, my cell phone cost me a lot that it will be something. Cut is also very easy, it's to cut, right? That is going to be for mining. 
Okay, um, I caught the airplane. Okay, very good, I caught the airplane. Uh, dig, what is to dig? When you want to plant a tree. Yeah, when you dig a hole right uh, on the earth. Good. Doug is going to be for Stella. Okay. Um, last week I dug a hole to to plant some flowers. Very good. Nice. Did that is easy. Uh, it's going to be for uh, Gisela. Mm -hmm. I did um I did my homework. Okay. I did my homework. Thank you. What is to draw? Draw is to it's a compilation it. of lines to do an a picture or something like that. Very good. That is to draw like a draw a picture. I really drew. I drew picture of ocean. Of the ocean. Good. Uh, the drive ocean. is very easy as well. Drive. Uh, that is going to be for Elvis. I drove a truck on Sunday. Good. I drove a truck on Sunday. Uh, drink is also very easy. Drunk is going to be for Estela. I like, um, I just make some tea to drink tonight. Mm, but that is present. Uh, the structure that you were telling me is present. Maybe uh, if you say, okay. I drank a tea yesterday, something like that might be better. Okay. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. It is also very easy. Eight is going to be for Carol. Eight uh, uh, Chinese food. Chinese yesterday. food. Good. Chinese food okay. okay. And what is fall? What is to fall? When you go from up to down. That is to fall, very good. Fell is going to be uh, for Lorena. Uh, excuse me, I don't understand what, what is fall. Okay, fall is like when you're walking, for example, and then uh, you sleep and you fall. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Fell. Um, yeah. Um, uh, he fell uh, in, in her sofa. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you know what is feel, so felt, that is going to be for Ilda. Hey teacher, um, I, I felt very happy yesterday. Okay, very good example, nice. Fight is also very easy, fought. Is going to be for Gerardo. Oh. Yeah. I fought yesterday with a wrong thing. Okay, nice. What is to find? Find. Find is the action from looking for some, something and you find it. Very good. When you're looking for something yeah. and you actually find it, right? It's found good. is going to be for Flora. Hello. Okay, Flora, I guess is not here by now, but uh, Lorena, could you please help me with found? Found. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
I found my my earring in, uh, yesterday. Okay, good. I found my earring. Fly is also very easy. Flew is going to be for a Marilyn. Okay, um, the parrot flew. Good example, liked it. Forget, yeah. what is to forget? And so people don't remember. When people don't remember. Forgot, that is for Gerardo. He forgot your expenses. Okay, nice, good example. Forgive, what is to forgive? It's compassion is to, to forget the, the Bad offense, perdona, to guilt. To okay, guilt. that is to forgive, nice. Forgave, uh, that is going to be for Stella. Um, <laughs> My my sister uh, punched me last week, but I I already forget. Very good, nice. Yes. What is well, get is also very easy. Uh, got uh, Hisela. Got. Many years ago, I got a good job. Very good, thank you. Give is also very easy, is to give something, right? Gave is going to be for Adele. Okay, my father, uh, gave me uh -huh. the money. Good, that is a good one. Uh, go is also very easy. Uh, Flora, let's see if we can go. do it. Mm -hmm. I, I went, I went at my work very early. Good. I went to my work very early. Uh, grow. Uh, you know where is grow? Where is grow? So it's when something is going up, right? Like your children or plants. Plants also grow, grow up. Okay, okay grew is going to be for um, Joanna. I, I grew up on the, uh, in the countryside. Good, I grew up in the countryside, nice. Hang, what is hang? When we put something in a high place, very well, and it's hanging, right? Hung is going to be for Elvis. I, ha I hung <clears throat> the, I hung my, my mom's call. Okay, very good. Have is also very easy, that is for Ilda. Has. I have a, I had English class yesterday. Very good. I had English class yesterday. The next one is here. That is also very easy. That is for, well, her is going to be for Gisela. Yesterday, I heard um, a beautiful thing. Okay, yeah. Yesterday, I heard a beautiful thing or something. Hit. The last one is going to be for Carol. Hit is a pegar. Something like that, yeah. Yes. Okay. I hit a um, I hit a <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You can say uh, many things. I mean, for example, you can say, I hit another car, which is not good. Um, but it's a good example, right? 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So we have checked um, regular and irregular verbs. The interesting here, part here is to remember the verbs. If you have a lot of verbs in your mind, it's going to be easier for you to speak in English. So I know some verbs are kind of strange. Some verbs are not that common. But if you uh, learned a few verbs, it's going to be fine. We're going to continue the practice then. Um, let's see. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, we have here some examples. Well, for example, here, this one uh, with the green check is going to be affirmative and with the red X is going to be negative. And here we have this as help and I. So the affirmative is going to be, I helped my mother, for example. And the negative is going to be, I didn't help my sister. Didn't, remember the pronunciation. So let's do together uh, the next one, wash and he, in affirmative, how is it going to be? He washed, he washed, he washed the, the, the clothes. Very good. He washed the clothes. And negative? He didn't, he wash. Wash. He didn't, he didn't wash, wash the car. car. He didn't oh. wash the car. Wash in he present, didn't right? Wash the, car. the next one is study and my sister. So affirmative. My sister is my sister chemistry. chemistry. Very good. My sister studied chemistry. What is chemistry? Chemical. Science. Yeah, it's very interesting, right? It's to mix things, to create something else. Okay, uh, and the negative, how's it gonna be? She didn't study history. She didn't study history, very good. And the next one uh, is visiting you. Who's gonna be the affirmative? You visited. You visited your friends. You visited your friends. And the negative? You didn't visit your family. You didn't visit your family. The next one says arrive in the train. Affirmative? The train arrived at 10 past 6. The train arrived at 10 past 6. And the negative? It didn't arrive at six o'clock. Very good. It didn't arrive at six o'clock. And uh, play and we, affirmative. We played football. football. We played football and the negative? We didn't play golf. <laughs> okay, we didn't play golf. Let's move on to the other ones. Um, this is going to be like this. We are going to have affirmative for the checks, negative for the X, and for the question mark, we're going to create a question. So here it says, Nero lived in Rome. Nero didn't live in Brazil. Did Nero live in Spain? So we're going to do three things together here. So the first one, it says, want you. Affirmative. You want some fruit. You want some fruit. Good. You wanted some fridge. And the negative? You, you didn't, didn't want meat. Want meat. meat. You didn't want meat. And the question? Did, Did you, you want, want fish? fish? Did you want fish? Good. Did you want fish? What about the next yeah. one? Die and the man. Man died in 2005. Okay, the man died in 2005. And the negative? The man, the man died, 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 died in winter. In winter. The man yeah. didn't die in winter. And the question? Did the man die in London? Good. What about uh, the next one? Staying here, affirmative. He stayed, he stayed, he stayed alone. Alone. He stayed alone. 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 He stayed alone. And the negative? He didn't stay with me. He didn't stay with me. And the question? Did he stay with, he stay you? with, you? Stay with you? Did he stay with you? Good. Next one is pushing she. Uh, affirmative. He pushed, he pushed the, machine. the machine. Okay. Uh, she 
uh, pushed the machine and the uh, negative. She didn't push the wheel. wheel. She didn't push the wheel. And the uh, question? Did she push the button? Did she push the button? And the last one, uh, it says tidy and they, uh, affirmative. They tidy they they up, up their room. They, room. Uh, they, they tidied up their room. And the negative? They, they didn't tidy tidy up, up the kitchen. The kitchen. Uh, the kitchen. They didn't tidy it up, uh, tied up uh, the kitchen. Tied Good. Up. And the, the kitchen. question? Did, Did they, they tie it up, up the office? office? Did they tie up the office? Very good. Remember that tidy is like clean and get everything organized very well. Okay. Any questions before we continue? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Let's practice a little bit more. Okay. Let's see. Okay. These are going to be affirmative. So who's going to be the first one? Jane, uh-huh. What? Jane to watch what? a film. What? Jane, watch a film. Oh, Jane, Jane watched, watched a, film. a film. Good. Okay. And the next one? He carried a box. A box. He, a box. Good. He carried a box. And the next one? They helped help help their father. Uh, they helped their father. They helped their father. Good. The next one. John, John and Amy, Amy swapped, swapped things. things. John and Amy swapped things. Do you know what is to swap? Change. It's like interchange, right? I give you mine and you give me yours. We swap things, okay? Uh, the next one. I talked to Andrew. I talk to Andrew. I talk to Andrew. I talked to Andrew. Very good. The next one. Susan danced with Peter. Susan danced with Peter. And the next one. The boys, the boys tried, tried basketball. basketball. The boys tried basketball. The next one. We planned, we planned, planned a, trip. a trip. We planned a trip. Good. And the next one. She washed, she washed her, her hair. hair. Yeah. She washed her hair. And the next one? The car the stopped at the traffic lights. Good. The car stopped at the traffic lights. And let's continue here. Uh, number one. She dressed quickly. quickly. Children dressed quickly. Number two. I helped my mother. I helped my mother in the kitchen. I helped my mother in the kitchen. I helped my mother in the kitchen. Number three. We, we walked walk walk in, walk in the park. We walked in the park. Nice. Number four. They, they washed, washed their they clothes washed in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Very good. They washed their clothes in the bathroom. Number five. We watched watch an, watch an interesting film. We watched an interesting film. Number six. Students, students worked in the garden. The garden. The garden. The garden. Students worked in the garden. And number seven. Ghana play play basketball. basketball. Okay. Number eight. The girls the girl kept very fast. Very fast. fast. The girls skipped very fast. Number nine. It's it raining a, a lot. No, it rained. It, yeah. it, it rained, rained a, lot. a lot. Good. It rained a lot. And number ten. Henry, Henry skied down, down, down the hill. Down. Henry skied down the hill. Ah, okay, skied. Skied. Okay, very good. Any questions before we continue? Not a chance. Okay, as you can see, it's very easy. Just remember that for the questions and for the negative, we're going to use auxiliar always, all mm -hmm. the time. And the verb is not going to change. 
And for affirmative, we're going to use the verb in simple past. That might be regular with ed or irregular, that is, or totally different or the same, something like that. Okay. This uh, topic, the next topic is um, very similar, you know, it's very similar to past. So this one is used to, be used to or get used to. So in general, how do we use used to, okay? So the first one is the most basic. That is the only one that is in the platform. We're going to use used to plus the verb in infinitive, meaning that is the base form of the verb. So we're going to use the structure just to do something. When we talk about something we did regularly in the past, but we do not do it now. So it's a change. It's like a routine that you did in the past and you, and you don't do it anymore. Or it's the opposite. It's a routine that you didn't do in the past and now you do it, okay? So for example, the first one it says, he used to go to our school. So that means that in the past, he went to our school. But now he doesn't go anymore. The other one says she used to be overweight, but became she, uh, she um, a model last year. So that means that before she was kind of fat, uh, but now she's a mother in mind, that one. So it's a change, a change in the routine. It can be a, a negative as well. You can say she, uh, or the first example that it says he used to go to a school. Uh, you can say he didn't used to go to a school. So that means that in the past, he didn't go, but now he goes, okay? So it is possible the other way around as well. Do you have a question? Is this clear or do you have questions about this? <clears throat> when, when say, uh, for example, in Spanish, solía. That is exactly yeah. this. Okay, okay. That is it. Or uh, when you say he didn't used to, it's like no solía. That means that it's a change in a routine, a whole routine. Something mm -hmm. that you did in a period of time. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher. So this is only used to, okay? Um, I told you before that, uh, yes, uh, there, are, there is some grammar there in the platform, but I, I like to bring some other things. So this is extra one, it's a bonus. So we have be used to plus a noun, pronoun or gerund. So this is a different structure. Be, like the verb to be, and then used to, and then a noun, pronoun, or gerund. We are going to use this one, be used to, to express that a situation is not new or strange, or is no longer new or strange. So it means that you have experienced it many times. So for example, he is used to swimming every day. That means that right now, at this very moment, uh, he is experiencing that a lot. He does that a lot. It's a period of time, but it's something that is experiencing and continues, right? The other one says, I am not used to getting up early. So this is negative, meaning that I get up early, but uh, this is so difficult for me. Uh, I, I, I don't get accustomed for that one. It's difficult. So be used to, is this clear? Do you have questions about this part? No question. No yes. question. Yes. Um, we may uh, sentence mm -hmm. use be used to the verb uh, it the verb is um, gerundio, gerundio. 
yes, yes, the situation. The final. Uh, the, yeah, the, the principal verb is going to be in gerund. Okay, the principal one. Okay, any other question? Okay, and the other one is get used to. So we're going to use get used to plus a noun, pronoun, or gerund. Okay, uh, for the question that you asked me before, para la pregunta que me acaban de hacer, puede ser también en lugar de un verbo con ing, un nombre. For example, he is used to uh, he is used to horses right now. Ya está acostumbrado a los caballos, something like that. Oh, so in this okay. case, so in this case, get used to is used to express that an action or situation becomes, this is becoming less strange or new or becomes more comfortable. So this is similar to be used to. The only difference is that in this, when we use get, is because you are in the process. You are getting used to. Se está acostumbrando. Be used to is está acostumbrado. So you, you have the experience already and you are fine. Or you are not fine. Get used to is like the process of getting there, right? So for example, staff will have to get used to a new way of working. Mm -hmm. Or when I say, I could not get used to driving on the wrong side of the street. So for example, if you go to, to Spain, in Spain, you drive in the other side, right? So this is something like that. Mm -hmm. I could not get used to driving on the wrong side of the street. Uh, is there any question we get used to? Um, this form is used, uh, can it be used, for example, I couldn't not get used to drive in a different country. For example, um, I'm from Salvador and I visited, um, I don't know, um, Irlanda, I mean, okay. uh, in a different part of the world that is opposite the directions to drive. That is correct. So this sentence, the last one is about okay. that one. And you are telling that, uh, you are telling that for you that is difficult. I mean, it, it will be very, very difficult. So I could not get used to driving on the wrong side of the streets. That is it. Okay, thanks. Any other question about this? No, no question. No. Very good. No question. Let me see about time. Yeah, we have time. So we are going to um, practice a little bit, of course. As I was telling you, this is very easy. Uh, this exercise is only for used to. Okay, don't worry about get used to or, or some other thing. So, uh, the first one, how is going to be? I used to listen to music when I was a child. Okay, I used to listen to music when I was a child. That means that right now, I don't listen to music anymore. So the next one, how is it going to be? We used to, we used to go to the cinema, cinema at weekends. Okay, we used to go to cinema to cinema at weekends. Uh, the next one. They used, they used to, but now they used to uh, in the country. Okay, they the first part. City. They used, they used to, to go. They used to live. They used to live in the country, but now, but now they live in the city. That is it. They used to, remember that after used to, it has to be a noun, or in this case, a verb. Mm -hmm. So they used to live in the country, but now they live in the city. Okay, the next one, who's gonna be? 
I used to eat the cake you made me last week. Okay. Last week. That's good. I used to eat the cake. The next one. Ah, right, this is a question. Who's gonna be? Did you, Did you used to have long hair when you were younger? You used to have long. Very good. Did you used to have long hair when you were younger? So did you, right? Because that is simple past, but only use. Use is the something that we are using right now. So that is it. Uh, the next one, how's going to be? She used to, she used to be very tall when she was in school. Perfect. She used to be very tall when she was in school. Nice. Perfect. Uh, the next one, how's it going to be? I used, I used to go to the to bed very late on Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, I used to go to bed very late on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, what about the next one? Robert used to be in a band. That is it. Robert used to be in a band. And the last one. I used to be. I do use my. I used to have my right arm in a skinning accident. When I used to break. I used to. I used to broke my right arm in a skinning accident. When I was 21. This is an interesting one. To be honest with you, uh, this is different because it says when I was 21. So this is not a period of time. If this is not a period of time, that means that we are not going to use used to. So this is going to be I broke. I broke my arm okay. in a skiing accident when I was 21. Okay. So remember that we are going to use used to when it was like a routine that we were doing and now we don't do anymore or the opposite. We didn't do a routine and now, uh, well, we do the routine, okay? I broke my arm. Yeah, that one is going to be, I broke okay. my uh, arm. Okay, let me check how it's gonna be the next one. Let's see. Okay, let's do this one as well. How is going to be the first one? I used to go to the beach every day. I used to go to the beach every day. Good. Next one. I didn't used to play tennis. Good. Nice. Um, the next one. Susan used to drink. Milk. Susan when used to drink young. milk when she was young. Very good. Susan didn't, I used to drink milk when she was mm -hmm. young. And the next one? I didn't, I didn't use to watch television. television. I didn't used to watch television. The next one? What, what did you use to you wear used at, to school? Wear at school? school? What did you use to wear at school? Good. The next one. Did they used to go to the cinema? Did they used to go to the cinema? Good. Uh, the next one. People used to travel on horses. People used to travel on horses. That is true, right? And the next one. Ted used to visit my best friend, but he lives in Canada now. That is it. Ted used to be my best friend, but he lives in Canada now. Uh, the next one. We used we used to play marbles. We used to play marbles. Good. Do you know what are marbles? Marbles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Marbles are the little balls, right? Made of crystal that you use when you were a kid. Yes, Marble. I remember. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, okay, the next one. Yes. 
My mother used, my to, mother used, to, cook used to cook for me, for me. Now, but now my wife cooks my at wife home. Cooks. Okay, my mother used to cook for me. And uh, the next one. I used, I used, used to start work, work at nine o'clock. I used to start work at nine o'clock. The next one. We didn't, we didn't use to swim in the river. In the river. In the river. We didn't use to swim in the river. Uh, the next one. Pele Phil used to play football in Brazil. Pele used to play football in Brazil. Very nice. Uh, do you have any questions with this? Mm, no questions. No questions. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to practice in a different way. We're going to remember. We're going to remember what happened to our lives before. So what we're going to do is we're going to share with the class some changes that you have done or some things that you did when you were a kid. Do you remember? So for example, I will start. Yes. Okay. Um, I used to play soccer on the street with my friends when I was a kid. It was very, very good. Also, I remember that for Christmas, we used to, um, we used to have a lot of firecrackers and we used to, I mean, there was like a fight, you know, we sent firecrackers to other guys and they sent us firecrackers. So that was, that was crazy. Uh, we used to, go out or stay uh, on the street at night sometimes when everything was fine. I guess that right now, uh, people, they don't used to do that anymore. But when I was a kid, that was something that we did a lot, a lot. So that was something that happened to me. Who wants to be the next? Hi. Okay, Gerardo, tell us about your childhood. I used to watch a movie when I was a, a child. Okay. I used also, I used to play soccer with my friends. That was very good, I remember that. Those days were fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Gerardo, for sharing. Uh, who wants to be the next? Me. Okay, Stella, go ahead. When I was a child, I used to uh, be sick. I mean, I used to uh, get flu in sinusitis every day, in every month, at every year. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. But that doesn't happen anymore. Yes, it doesn't happen anymore. Good for you. <laughs> now it's difficult. I get sick now. Nice, that's good. <laughs> what else? Yes. Okay. When hey, I, are you going to say when something I, else? When I was a child, I used to like to dance, to play the guitar and um, running the bicycle with my friends. Really? So you were very active, that is nice. And you don't play the guitar anymore? I, I didn't practice. Okay. It's been about 10 years or more. 20. No way. <laughs> okay, yeah. this is a good chance for you to practice whenever you have the time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Hilda, go ahead. I remember two moments special. Okay. When I was child, I I used to visit the Chalatenango, Palma Chalatenango, mm -hmm. with my father because he, he liked like it the place. Okay. Um, another uh, is uh, when I was child, I completed the albums. Ah, you mean the ones with stickers that you have to put? 
Yes, a sticker and chase with my friends. Uh, uh, very fun. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. used to do that as well. You know, I had yes, a lot to chase of the, the, the chase the tarjeta, uh -huh. the card, the, the, card. the, the chase the card. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. Nice. Only Thank, that. You. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Uh, me teacher. <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. Um, uh, when I have, uh, when, when I, um, yeah, he, he's younger. Um, I I uh, uh, I used to uh, dance. Uh, the, the, uh, music, uh, menudo music. <laughs> uh, okay. And, and I collect some everything uh, about the menudo group <laughs> and, <laughs> and i remember <laughs> with, uh, that that time um, okay you were a huge fan <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was fans yeah. menudo yeah uh, <laughs> and do you still <laughs> listen to menudo sometimes uh, yeah in, okay. and i dance <laughs> oh, that's good <laughs> That's good. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that one. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Hey, when I started, uh, I used to to the play basketball with my friends all afternoon. Really, all the afternoon? Yes. That's interesting. Very nice. <laughs> and don't you play basketball anymore? Uh, in the moment. Yeah. In the actual. Yeah, no, current. No, no. Not anymore. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you for sharing. Uh, who wants to be the next? Me, teacher. Okay, Marlene. Um, I remember I to use play with my neighbors and um, play soccer with so my neighbors. Imagine. <laughs> yes, and um, I, I remember. Mm, six years ago. <laughs> okay, so you don't play soccer anymore? No, I don't have free time. <laughs> yeah, sometimes time is difficult, right? Yes. Good morning. Okay, the next one, who's going to be the next? Me. Um... Well, when I used to, uh, when I was a child, my father used to, uh, used to, my brother and I used to go with my father to, to his work and we used to play a lot there. Really? Very interesting. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that one. Uh, who's meeting? Who's missing right now? Okay, go ahead. When I was a child, I used to play video games on the morning. And then when we fin well, as soon as we finished, we used to play on the soccer field. You know, it's really it's really it was really funny. And then we bet money and you know with each team we played soccer and then the team that win. So they get the whole money. So it's really interesting. I love those days. Yeah, I, I believe that at this time, when we remember those, those days, it's like, it was very good, right? <laughs> but well, right now, other things make our life better or good. Uh, who else is missing? Ilda is missing, right? No teacher. You did it already. Okay, okay, thank you. I guess somebody's missing, but I don't remember. Carol? Hi. I, uh -huh. I, I share, mm -hmm. and I, I like the, I share, I read the book. Um, and, and uh, 
visit uh, visit uh, is more visit mall uh, with my daughter only. <laughs> okay, so you used to do some other family activities. Good. Yes. Yes. Okay, everybody has shared right already, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Okay, my friends. So this was the practice for today. We did different things and tomorrow we are going to continue. There is a homework for tomorrow. Uh, please uh, write something brief about what you did last year. That is going to be with simple past, not just to, but simple past, okay? What you did uh, last year and we're going to start tomorrow with that activity. Uh, you are going to share what you did last year. That was a different year because of the pandemic, but I know that you did so many things, okay? Um, any question before we finish? Um, yeah, uh, to present that homework, it could be uh, here in the in the Zoom meeting, or we have to send it somewhere. No, you're just uh, going to read here in, in the class, in the video. So you don't have to send okay. anything. Uh, just uh, come tomorrow to the class and you are going to say, well, last year I did this and this and this. I didn't do this and I wanted whatever you want to share, okay? Okay. Right. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. I hope you have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See, see you. you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night.